Hello and welcome back to my channel. If it's your first time on this channel, you're welcome. I am an Ainpo Chen, I'm an author and I also do business. Now, today's video is basically for that part of my channel where we talk about business and I'm going to be sharing with you more information about business opportunities within Malawi, okay? Now, before I get into today's video, if you have not subscribed already, please do click the subscribe button and the notification bell that lets you know when I've uploaded a video, okay? Now, for those of you who have already subscribed and do watch my content consistently, thank you so much. Do, um, what's it called? As you watch this video, if you found it very helpful to you, click the thumbs up and also don't forget to comment and if you have friends and families who you feel that this kind of content will be beneficial to them feel free to share the video with them as well and i'll be more than appreciative of that okay now let us get into today's video now i said number one was um What's it called? Cleaning service, okay? Opening a cleaning service, yeah? So, in a cleaning service. Demand for cleaning services in is on the rise, especially in cities, okay? So, if you live in a city or if you could um, open your business in a city, um, that would be very good for you, okay? Starting a company which will offer cleaning service is in is a lucrative business okay creativity and uniqueness in service delivery can or can help you to stand out of the competition so although there are many cleaning services in malawi you can still open your company your cleaning company and um what's it called offer it in your service delivery deliver it in a way that is creative you know i know a lot of people who use cars they go from house to house or office to office and they use different people they have members of staff that can clean and um clean and then go their way so you can do that using your own vehicle for example you don't necessarily need to um have public transport use public transport but if you don't have your own vehicle to drive then you can you know let the people who clean for you for your company and um, take public transport or their own transport and go and clean and offer the service in a different way to your competitors okay um so finding out what your competitors are doing would also help you to curve out a niche for yourself you know a, a service that is different to them okay um okay most residential places have no proper waste disposal area okay these are potential customers who would be willing to pay monthly to someone doing the job for them Okay, so you can, you know, offer the residential area to clean out their, you know, their trash, take their trash, for example. Even if you're going to be offering a cleaning service, you can take out their trash as well, which would be helpful for them. And that would be, can be your niche. Okay. Number two is blogging. Blogging is one way to make money with a blog. You can make money through multiple means. Okay. You can monetize your blog using a sense and sense using AdSense, direct ads, as well as affiliate links. Starting a blog in Malawi requires less capital. So you don't need a lot of capital with a blog. I have a blog personally on my website called www.annpochen.com and on there I can add, add put AdSense and different companies actually, um, you know, advertise their services on my website, on my blog post, okay? Um, as long as, you know, they're what they're offering is in line with the content that i'm producing and i'm happy with it they can do that and also i can put direct um what's it called advertisement so i can advertise directly on my blog 
and also affiliate links okay and uh, include affiliate links now i have recently joined travel pay out okay travel pay out affiliate um program which basically means that you can um have bookings um dot com like um the offers on bookings.com at a reasonable price and also flights as well air flight air tickets okay so i'll be putting those i'll begin to put those links out very soon i'm just learning how to do it okay because i've never done affiliate marketing before so that is a blog and it doesn't cost you much it only costs you a little bit like for me it cost me 23 pounds for two years to have my website up and running your initial cost if you don't have a website it might be a little bit expensive at the beginning it's always a little bit expensive at the beginning but it's not something that you it's impossible to do it's very possible and then your cost gets cheaper as you use it long term okay and you can make money that way all right um number three also is freelancing okay freelancing freelancing is an is another good business idea for people who choose to earn a living on their talent the idea with freelancing is to specialize in one thing you are best at okay for instance if you are skilled if you're a skilled writer you can make money selling your writings to newspapers magazines and websites that is so true there's so many people who use freelance okay there is a freelance called Fiverr okay you can check that out if they have available um, if you can put your service from Malawi on there now you can write articles for newspapers for magazines and also for websites I got approached by someone to write because I am an author but I also write um, other content on demand i can do that on demand things like poetry i can do that on demand things like music i can do that on demand and other articles food articles and all of that on demand like as long as you let me know the subject and i'm happy with writing the subject um on the subject matter i am more than happy so you find people who will approach you as a writer to write for their magazine their website and also for their for newspaper article so even or, or even just a column so you can make money as a freelancer in that aspect or you can even be a freelancer as a graphic designer so you can design um people's websites people's flyers um people's pamphlets and all of those kind of stuff for them there's so many opportunities that you can do as a freelancer on there okay um number four is part-time teaching okay part-time teaching if you take teaching as a business you are likely to make money most parents are willing to pay for someone who would like to help their students to pass exams adults who are upgrading courses pay well for part-time teachers so if you are specialized if you have specialized knowledge for instance in accounts marketing physics mathematics and computer you can earn good money that is true i used to offer one-to-one -one tuition to students college students um and i used to get paid for it okay on a part-time basis and i used to get paid for it and then i used to teach younger children um you know things like maths things like english writing reading and all of that and their parents used to pay me and then i also used to teach you know adults how to use computer um do things on computer and stuff like that and i used to actually get um paid for it and i could get paid for it but i was helping out a friend at that time but if i wanted to i could actually get paid to do that so you can go into that okay number five is soap making making soap is simple simple like baking bread demand for soap is always going to be 
high because soap is something that everybody needs soap to wash your body soap to wash your face soap to wash your hands soap to wash clothes you know there's always a need for soap okay um okay simply put people cannot do without soap people need soap for washing bathing and cleaning other objects okay like i've just said they the key with this business idea is having a proper marketing strategy so you know how you're going to sell it how you're going to market it to people okay so that it can sell marketing strategy materials for soap making are also cheap again okay? organic soaps can be made using locally available waste waste plant materials okay so you can source your resources from your own town or outside of your town and make the most of it uh, producing soap that way okay um number six is selling spices okay selling spices now if i was in malawi this would be one of apart from just the teaching um, part-time teaching I'll go for that part-time teaching I'll go for that freelance um, freelancing I would go for blogging I would go for um, then I'll go for selling spice and with that said I do have um, what's it called a food agriculture agricultural business called AHP food store and you can find the page on Instagram as well as on Facebook and that is where I grow my own crops and also see seasoning herbs and we're gonna later expand onto vegetables and fruits okay so you can check that out on all things to do with agriculture now i'll be selling spice okay local spices have a big market the international market demand for spices um the international market demand for spices is huge mark making spices which meet the international standard is likely to make huge money so you can decide to either make your spices for just malawi or you can decide to also expand and do export you can export your spices to other african countries and then outside of africa as well to other country to other continents such as usa and um, such as europe such as great britain and also asia okay as long as the spices that you're making meets the international um standard okay so things like um this for example curry powder is made here but this this one is made from the caribbean okay pintos um again these peppercorns they're made from here they're packaged in this country um you know things like that okay cloves okay so jars like them Cin cinnamon ginger readily done black pepper that is done here yeah so um so yeah just make sure that it meets the standard of where you're set selling it and um, number seven is web and graphic designing okay many people want to make their own their online presence that outstanding such as people companies and ngos need people who can code websites for them they want someone to design logos calendars flyers posters banners t-shirt branding and more this is an ever-increasing opportunity for web developers and 
designers in Malawi. So people always need, companies always need designers, graphic designers and web designers for their businesses and for their events as well, okay? So if you can do that, you can make money that way, okay? Number eight is computer and mobile phones repairing. Many people who use computers and mobile phones do not know how to repair their devices. Anyone who is skilled in hardware or software maintenance can make money by repairing gadget for customers, flashing phones and software installation uh, for a few of the available opportunities for skilled people good the good thing about this is that demand will always be there as new models of computers and phones hit the market so there's quite so many like especially just to give you an example of where we live okay there are like three mobile phone and computer repair shops just on one road on one side there is two on another side there is two so there's four of them and that is just on one street so it goes to show that there's always demand for it okay so if you're good at that you can make money that way um okay let me make myself a cup of tea while we're there because after this video I'm going to chill um number nine is salon and barbershop okay salon and barbershop everywhere anywhere people will look for barbershops and salons to stand out for the from the crowd to make it a habit to meet customers needs okay so you have to stand out from your crowd to be able to meet your customers needs so what service um how you know what hairstyles can you offer if you're a salon um and if you're a barber what hairstyles can you also offer like cuts and trims and all of that beard shaving and all of that kind of service the um the more services you offer the better and the quality is also key okay um number 10 import and export starting import low cost start importing low cost things from the from other countries and selling them at a high price in malawi importing items from countries like china online sites like ebay and aliexpress.com is simple that is actually true you can um import you know products from other countries into your own country for example i was able to import um bow ties with matching pocket squares from kigali okay from kigali shout out to my mom thanks to my mom she sourced that for me and imp uh, and sent it over to me so i was able to import and sell it at a higher price okay so you can do the same in malawi okay um number 11 is internet cafe most malawians access the internet using mobile devices at times people want to get access to affordable internet through computers providing internet that is fast at an affordable price attracts more customers especially in trading centers towns and cities so if you can if you can have um, computers and provide internet service as an internet cafe that would be very very beneficial because people are always willing to pay I mean I personally also pay for it and um, it's only since I got my internet at home and got all my resources that I need that I don't necessarily go out to internet cafes but if I needed to I would use a happily use internet cafe for hours to do my work okay so that's something that people will always pay for um even when i had my phone i could still use internet cafe okay so it's something that people will pay for number 12 vegetables and fruits farming this is something that i would have done if i was in malawi okay demand for fresh fruits and vegetables are high in store like chipiku plus 
um, SANA, PTC and ShopRite, learning institutions like colleges and universities also buy vegetables and fruits in bulk. Becoming a supplier of vegetables and fruits is another good business idea to start in Malawi. So you can um, do your farming and then serve your community, okay? Supply them with the fruits and vegetables. People will always pay for that, okay? Um, number 13 is real estate agents, okay? Um, help busy people easily find houses and properties to rent or buy. In this business model, you get paid by the property sellers and from the buyer, okay? So it's a win-win, it's a two-way that you get paid. You get paid from the buyers and also from the sellers, okay? Um, number 14 is floor polish. Manufacture floor polish and sell. So things to clean the floor, polish to clean the floor, okay? Offices will buy it, homes will buy it, um, yeah. Uh, number 15 is interior deco okay you can do decorations for offices you can do decorate um, kitchen fittings you can do living rooms and all of that houses okay number 16 is laundry service so you can open a laundromat where people can come and wash their clothes and dry their clothes and also maybe iron for them or do um what's it called dry cleaning as well included and that you get paid for that okay you make money out of that okay number 17 is security company again open up a security company where people you can send out staff to do security work in offices in um at events at um supermarkets okay um what else 18 wedding accessories so supply wedding dresses for hire or for sale wedding cakes um being able to do being master of ceremony um being a wedding dj and also wedding decorations so having you know people to decorate the maybe the the hall the reception hall the ceremony hall and you know being a dj having a dj there and all of that and also having someone to do baking cake cakes and desserts and all of that for the wedding that you you make your money that way um number 19 is gym and fitness centers gym centers are ideal for people who value body maintenance and fitness as such, they are willing to pay for gym equipment and services. You may also do massage for a fee, okay? So, you know, you can do that and make your money that way. Um, number 20, which is the final one, is sausage making, okay? And in brackets, we have uh, food industry is full of potentials opportunities sorry um making and selling sausage is a good business idea to start with a small capital this one of the many business opportunities for malawians everyday people want to eat and drink okay lastly when you decided what business you want to do, you may consider registering your business. Registering a company in Malawi gives you an added advantage, which is true because um, when you're going for loans, you are more likely to get the loan than somebody who hasn't got a registered company. And also business grants, in case the government puts out a grant that you can get free money for your business, um, you always get the advantage over somebody who has not registered their company. So register your company, okay, properly. And um, And that
is it so when you register your company you get a registration certificate okay so now um what's it called now that is it if you have any questions to do with business in general it doesn't necessarily have to be what i have shared on this video particularly it can just be business in general whether you're in in malawi or outside of malawi you can um put it in the comment section put your question in the comment section and i'll be more than happy to respond if there's too personal for the comment section you can send me a dm on my facebook twitter or instagram and i'll be more than happy to respond to you there as well and if this video has been beneficial to you give it a thumbs up and also comment let me know um your views let me know have you started a business let me know have you registered a business let me know um you know if you are looking to start a business and all of that kind of good stuff okay let it be interactive in the comment section and also if you have family and friends who you think would like this kind of content or would benefit from this content feel free to share the videos with them and also for those of you who have subscribed and watch my videos consistently thank you so much for watching and for those of you who watch my videos and have not subscribed please click the the subscribe and notification bell that lets you know when i've uploaded a new video now it is free to subscribe you don't have to pay for your subscription it just helps me out it means that i have various ways of creating content on this platform and sharing with you all my audience without further ado have a good night and i shall see you in the next video let me get on with my cup of tea it let me go and have a sit down